t of n equals t of 1 plus n minus 1 times d. This is the arithmetic sequence formula, and it's used when you're given values for three of the variables and you're asked to find the fourth. Let's go through a few examples. Determine the common difference of the arithmetic sequence. Show how you got this answer. d is the second term minus the first term. Here's our second term minus the first term. Negative 23 subtract a negative 3. Now we have to remember our integers. When we have a bracket like this, it's like a negative 1 times a negative 3, which makes a positive. What we're doing is we're combining negative 23 plus 3 to give us a negative 20. Let's check using two other terms. The value of the third term is negative 43. Subtract a negative 23. And this is like a negative 1 times a negative 23, which is a positive 23. Now we have negative 43, add 23, which is negative 20. I think we're pretty confident that the D, or the common difference, is negative 20. Find the 25th term of the arithmetic sequence and show how you got this answer. Now you have to start thinking about, hmm, what does 25th term mean? We want to find that value. We want to find this amount at 25. When the input is 25, what is that value? What's the output? We're given the first term, t1 is 9. And we're also able to find out what the d is. What is the d? The common difference is the second term minus the first term. The second term minus the first term. 14 minus 9, which is 5. Let's do one more check. d is the third term minus the second term. The third term is 19, and the second term is 14 which also gives a 5. We can confidently say now that d is 5 for sure. 1, 2, 3 values, and we're asked to find the fourth. We have 1, 2, 3 values, and we're asked to find that fourth. And here's the formula rewritten, and you're looking for this final value, this final output, when you have 25 terms. Now remember, you have to put the plus sign in between. A common mistake students make is they forget to put that plus. t of the 25 equals 9 plus 24 times 5. 24 times 5 is 120. Our value for the 25th term is 129. The sequence looks like 9, 14, 19, 24, dot, 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 and that 25th term is going to be 129. Give the values for the next three terms in the following arithmetic sequence. Show how you got these values. One term, two terms, three terms, four terms. So we're going to go the second term minus the first term. So this is the first term, this is the second term, third term, fourth term. Negative 51, this is like a negative times a negative, which is a positive 21. 21 minus 51 is negative 30. 
for D. And I mean, you can go ahead and do this one as well. Negative 81 subtract negative 51 and get the same D value. And now from your negative 111, you're asked to find three more values. So each jump, you're going to add negative 30. So if you add negative 30, you get negative 141. You're adding negative 30, or really you can say you're combining a negative 30 with the negative 141 to get the negative 171. And you're adding, so we could put add here, adding negative 30, so it becomes more negative. The pattern is decreasing in value because you keep adding more negatives, negative 30 each time. Three jumps take you to this negative 201. Look at the given arithmetic sequence. Using the arithmetic sequence formula, list the variables you know. Fill in the gaps in this arithmetic sequence and show how you calculated the values. Then find the 34th term. Wow, you've got a lot to do here. Don't panic, just start listing the stuff you know. Do you know the first term? Yes, negative four. Do you know n, the number of terms? Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Do you know D? No. Do you know T of N, or in this case, T of five is the last value, and yes you do, it's 24. Wow, you have three values, one unknown. If you find that D, that's gonna help you find that 34th term. T of five is, we actually should have put 24 here because that's what the value is in the equation. And so now we're asked, we need to solve for D. Now we have an equation we need to remember how to solve for D. My little trick is circle that value with the D. Now you have a negative four here. If you make that a zero, you'll get this 4D by itself. How do you make this a zero or a zero pair? Add four. What you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other. Now what we have is 28 equals 4D because this makes a zero pair. And now to get D by itself, the opposite of multiply is divide by four. Four divided by four is one, and that's what we want. One D equals 28 divided by four is seven. The value for D is seven. Now let's find that 34th term. That means N now is 34. We wanna find the value of t of 34. We know that d is 7 and we know that our first term is negative 4. We're on our way. We have three variables, one unknown. Let's plug it in. t of 34 is what we're looking for, that value. Order of operations, we're going to do the brackets first. So we have a 33 and then times the 7. 33 times 7 231 plus a negative 4 and when you combine these two values you actually get 227. The sequence looks like this negative 4 and then we don't really care what these are and then we had the 24 and then the pattern goes on till you hit that 34th term and that value is 227.